Have you ever wondered about the differences between the Boston Terrier and the Cocker Spaniel? Well, in today's video, we will be comparing these two fun-loving, full-of-life small dogs. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. My name is Mimi and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Boston Terriers, then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Boston Terriers. So if you're a lifelong lover thinking about getting one or you're just starting your journey with your new Boston Terrier, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video where we will be comparing these two beautiful breeds. First, we will look into the history of both of these breeds. The Boston Terrier originated from the United States and was first recognized by the American Kennel Club as a non-sporting breed in 1893. The first Boston Terrier was created in 1875 when Robert Cooper from Boston brought a dog called Judge. Judge was a cross between an English Bulldog and a white English Terrier. He was mated with a small, short-tailed, stocky white female named Burnett's Jip, and with that, the Boston Terrier was born. Cocker Spaniels, as we know them, first originated from the UK, where they were bred for hunting purposes. However, their origins can be traced back to the 1800s in Spain, as the word Spaniel means Spanish dog. The term Cocker comes from their use for hunting Eurasian woodcock. The breed was later brought to the United States, where it was bred to different standards in order to hunt the American woodcock. After the Second World War, Cocker Spaniels became very popular and in 1984 they were registered as the number one breed for the American Kennel Club. Prior to 1870, the only requirement for a Spaniel to be classed as a Cocker Spaniel was that the dog weighed under 25 pounds. This later changed to include ancestry as well as weight. Known as the American Gentleman, the Boston Terrier is extremely recognisable thanks to its tuxedo-styled coat, compact body and short tail. They are a sturdy and muscular dog with a smooth, straight coat, distinct large ears which sit erect on their heads, and they also have a flat-nosed face with no wrinkles. The American Kennel Club recognises three colours. Seal, a black colour with a red tinge to it, black and brindle with equal marks of white. The newly revised colours, which are not recognised as true Boston Terrier colours, also include solid black, tan and black, mouse, blue and liver, red. A Boston Terrier usually has white markings across its chest, between its eyes and on the muzzle. Male Bostons usually weigh between 15 to 25 pounds and females around 10 to 20 pounds. They usually stand between 12 to 17 inches tall at the shoulder. No matter how much a Boston weighs, they should never look skinny. They should always look sturdy and muscular. The Cocker Spaniel's appearance is very different to the Boston Terriers. They are very regal dogs to look at due to their sloping backs. They have round heads with square muzzles and long hanging ears, which are covered with long feathered hair. They also have the same long feathered hair on their legs, under their belly and chest too. Cocker Spaniels come in a variety of different colours. Some come in solid colours of red, black or tan. Others can come in a bi-colouring or tri-colouring. These colours include black and white, black and tan and black and white with tan flashes. The American Kennel Club have categorised Cocker Spaniels into three different colourings when used for showing. These include black, party colour and ASCOB, which means any solid colour other than black. A male Cocker Spaniel usually ranges in height from 15.5 to 16 inches at the shoulder and weigh around 13 kilograms to 14.5 kilograms. Females measure 15 to 15.5 inches at the shoulder and also weigh 13 kilograms to 14.5 kilograms. Next we will look into the temperaments, energy and trainability of both breeds. Let's start with the Boston Terrier. They were once bred to be savage pit fighting dogs, but that cannot be any further from the truth now. Boston Terriers are known as an intelligent, affectionate and lively breed. They can, however, be a little stubborn. Consistency and persistence are a must when training them. It may be good to consider crate training with Bostons whilst house training, as this may take a while for your Boston to grasp, if not done properly. The best way to train a Boston Terrier is with motivational training, as they are sensitive to your tone of voice. Punishing them too harshly may cause them to quickly lose interest in you and training. The Cocker Spaniel is known for being a gentle, loving and easygoing breed. However, they can also be very lively due to them being bred as hunting dogs. There are mixed views about training Cocker Spaniels. Every puppy is different, but they can be known for being stubborn. This can affect obedience training. 
They can also be hard dogs to house train if not done properly. This aside, they love to be beside you and receive lots of love and affection. They are very adaptable and can live just about anywhere as long as they receive plenty of mental and physical stimulation, daily walks and plenty of play sessions. Boston Terriers are a balanced breed, however they can become a little territorial if dogs invade their territory. This is usually seen more commonly in males than females and can be avoided by plenty of socialising from puppyhood. Boston Terriers have a very friendly and outgoing temperament which makes them excellent playmates for children. They are also good with other pets like dogs, cats and other animals when they are socialised from a young age. Cocker Spaniels are generally very good with children, other pets and other people out of their family circles. It is advised that they should be introduced to any other house pets at a young age so they can learn how to interact calmly with these other animals. It is also advised to do a lot of socialising of different kinds with your Cocker Spaniel as soon as you receive your puppy, to help them become consistent and well-rounded dogs. It is good for your Cocker Spaniel to see different types of dogs, people, other animals and outdoor sights and sounds. You can do this from 8 weeks old by carrying your puppy when you go out, or use a special dog carrier until they become old enough to go for walks. Both the Boston Terrier and the Cocker Spaniel are loving, energetic, family focused dogs, and the addition of either would be a fantastic canine companion to add to any household. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Boston Terrier videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.